Hello, this is Solar PVTV from Kiev and from the Ukrainian Vyrchnaya Rada. We are together with uh, Oleksy Ryabchin, who is uh, chairman of the subcommittee for energy efficiency and also renewable energies. Yes, uh, Alexey. Uh, yes, I'm dealing with energy efficiency, with energy saving, with all that could be branded as a green like green energies. And you are also in the fraction of the party of Yulia uh, uh, Timoshenko, yes? Yes, but Kivshina faction, we are highly supported of the all the, the, all the dedicated to the green energy. Although in the past Yulia Timoshenko was considered as a person related to gas, mm -hmm. but now she highly, let's say, supportive of a green renewable energy that could create Ukraine more energy independent. Yes, that's also so great. And uh, a few hours ago, we had a great meeting that you organized with your with your committee. Yeah, you had a great speech. It's yes, really th th thank you so much. Thank you so much. And uh, I'm very happy because uh, we signed some declaration. Uh, it was a resolution, yes, that you will then submit to the ministry in order to reach uh, quite ambitious targets. In my opinion, it was not not enough ambitious, but I, I understand sometimes in the political reality, uh, these targets uh, has to be on the more, let's say, modest level yeah, set up. So could you just uh, give us some overview? Uh, how would you like to shape, let's say, the legislation towards uh, renewable energies and also energy re uh, efficiency? Yes, as regard to the resolution, we had a um, round table mm -hmm. uh, to push for more uh, ambitious renewable targets. And the resolu resolution was to have to, s to 2035 to the strategy that we're mm -hmm. now developing. 25% of renewable, 25% of decrease in the uh, energy consumption, and 35% from the 1919s of the CO2 emission decrease. And this is, well, ambitious yet for Ukraine, and honestly saying when the country is in war, is not very popular to speak about renewable, about green, and about environment at all. But we understand that even being in war, and this is a part of the war for our independence and for the energy independence, the renewables will play a big role. And the strategy is that Ukraine doesn't have uh, our own financial resources to develop renewables. Our own uh, enterprises are not able to actively involve in this process. So we need to attract investments. And if we will set the ambitious targets, mm -hmm. and if we show the political will and really care about and commitment yeah? and commitment about this investors will come i bet the investors will come because they are meeting with me and asking the question whether the feeding tariffs that we have here which is rel relatively higher according to european mm -hmm. uh, rates because we have a political risks much more bigger here but they're interested in this market and they are asking whether this feeding tariff that is acting up to 2013 won't be, you know, cancelled, changed or not. Yeah, because I, even in Europe, you remember that uh, there was a retroactive law. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We also had this same situation here, but we, our feeding tariff was drafted to benefit only one oligarch, let's say, local, who already ran to to Russia, and we re retro retroactively change it, but it's still uh, high. It's still high, and people are going are going to this. We saw that the market is developing, and we see that the market is developing right now, not actively as we would like to, but this is in regard to the military situation and war mm -hmm. with Russia that we have. But the market is really interesting. Even the big gas company coming here that already supplying gas to Ukraine saying, oh, I would like to have uh, solar. By the way, they're asking for a solar. <laughs> they're really yes, interested yes. in solar. We have the Ukrainian uh, market, the Ukrainian players, big players who, are in, in, who have assets in the wind. Mm -hmm. They're now looking to the solar market. So basically, even if we retrospectively decreased the solar tariffs, they're still so high that the business is interested in it. Yes, and uh, what is your, let's say, scheme, let's say, the next steps that you will take uh, uh, in this uh, legislative process? And eventually, because we are uh, speaking for the international industry, but also decision makers, um, investor community, what would be, let's say, help that you would expect from, from the people? How we can help also to assist you? in exchange of helping them also to uh, to contribute, but also to make business in your country. I will tell you that we are here, this is the committee room when the Committee of Energy sits, mm -hmm. and this is the most green energy committee ah. ever. 
because the chairman, the members of all factions support a lot of the green laws, environmental laws that help to boost the energy, mm -hmm. save energy efficiency market because it's still a niche and there is a big trend. We would like to create a market basically. So we support a lot of the law and trying to protect this yet niche from those who are not willing this to be developed. So our best will to protect the foreign investors. Mm -hmm. And I will tell you that although the government of Ukraine is now more dealt with, you know, with the international aid mm -hmm. and the help of the IMF, there are a lot of the people who are able to compete for investment. Mm -hmm. And that's what we are doing. We are creating the market, we are creating the infrastructure, uh, like decreasing the, uh, the starting barriers mm -hmm for entering the market because uh, like five years ago the the market was drafted only for the local companies to succeed mm -hmm. and we have language barrier political barriers you know we have a uh, corruption we have a lot of barriers that foreigners said ah no it's interesting it's high rate but like we won't come to ukraine that's what we are changing we're trying to increase and improve our investment climate for people to come into ukraine to increase the security especially. yes but what we are trying to do, it's not just like we will bring, you know, wind turbine or solar panel, put it to the ground and start to earn money. No, the task is we have a lot of great engineers. We have a lot of manufacturing. It was my speech. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we have a lot of uh, manufacturing possibilities. It's easy and it's cheaper for the investors not to, you know, for example, to build a wind turbine. Uh, this uh, shaft and to build it, I don't know, in China or in Poland, but to build it here. Mm -hmm. It's much more cheaper and it, the cost effectiveness is much more greater. So come to Ukraine, bring your technology uh, and make money. We, do, we shouldn't be afraid for mm -hmm. let giving people earning money in Ukraine if it's a sustainable business. Mm -hmm. And uh, they can contribute also to the, to the economy. To the economy, to the energy security of Ukraine. Mm -hmm. And this is what, what our aim is. Okay, so thank you so much, Alexi, because I know that you are busy, you are flying, you came at 3 a.m., you are flying tomorrow at 6 a.m., so I believe that we will meet in the future, and once again, congratulations, and uh, we'll try also to bring some other testimonies besides uh, Hans Josef Feld to Ukraine, and help you also to bring uh, the real investors. Thank you very much for thank being so much. interested in Ukraine <laughs> and the last world. Ukraine in our parliament was one of the first parliament in the world to ratify the Paris Climate Agreement. We are sending this really strong signal that although we are in war, although our economy is not in a great shape, we are committed to the global values mm -hmm. and we would like to benefit from the Paris Agreement and all the mechanisms that is now on the development. So this is on also a really great signal for the investment that this parliament, these authorities will be care about, about green investments here and will try to protect them as, as best as we can. And it was... Uh, Insured by the chairman of the subcommittee for energy efficiency and also for green energy of the Ukrainian parliament, Oleksiy Ryabchin. Ryabchin. Ryabchin.